Now, what every B cell is doing? Every B cell synthesizes some of the sample antibodies and put these antibodies on the surface. Bring your hand. Okay. So <laughs> this is okay. Okay, he's making like this. Here, stark and fat. You make a different type of. No, no, it's you. You can make it simply open. Open. Ah, yeah. This is anti moon. You make it like. Yeah, his antibodies are for anti sun. And you make it like this. <laughs> these are anti dog. So what happens? These are four lymphocytes. On their surface, they are expressing different type of antibodies. This is a molecular message to different type of antigen. Now. Star antigen, neutrophil has eaten the bacteria, release the star antigens. Stars are coming like this. Do you think star will fit into dog system? No. Sorry, dog, anti-dog antibody system? No. Will they fit here? No. Will they fit here? No. Star antigens will truly fit here. Right? Now, as soon as it becomes fit over here, this B cell becomes very happy that my antigen has come. <laughs> Is that right? So this B cell will be selected. Again, there are soluble antigens. B cells are very humble cells. They don't say that if gift comes, someone should come with the gift and wrap it properly with class 2 molecule, nothing. They say even someone throws it, we may accept it. Is that right? These are humble cells. So what really happens, that neutrophils were eating up the bacteria and throwing the bacterial antigens into fluid. Through the fluid, those bacterial antigens also reach to the same lymph node where the macrophage had personally go to activate T cells. The free antigen sooner or later will interact with the sample antibody on the B cell. Right? Which will be that antibody? Anti star antibody. These antibodies, please express your antibodies on the surface. These surface antibodies are called B cell receptors for the antigen. These surface, surface sample antibodies are called B cell. What are these? B cell receptor for the Antigen. Is that right? So what we say, every B cell is expressing BCRs as T cells are expressing TCRs. So B cells have BCR. The difference is that TCR bind only peptide. BCR bind, may bind with peptide or even with the carbohydrates. You know, they're humble. They may bind even with lipid, even with DNA. So BCRs can bind with variety of antigens. But TCRs as a group, they only bind with peptide antigen then BCR bind even with the free antigens. But TCR bind only with those antigens which are processed with MHC molecules. Is that right? And they only react T cells when macrophage or other antigen presenting cell in person come. So do you think which cell is more humble? B cell, which is arrogant? T cells. T cells are very arrogant. They want the antigen. But they want that antigen should be brought in person by the antigen presenting cells and antigen should be properly presented with class 1 or class 2 molecule. T cells are arrogant lymph lymphoid cells. B cells are very baby type. You know, they are very, very humble. Right, they are not very arrogant. B lymphocyte, they have the BCRs. They may accept the free antigens. No one in come into person to give them. They may even accept not only peptide, they may accept carbohydrate, some, some BCRs may accept carbohydrate, some other BCR on some other cell accept the peptide antigens, some other BCRs on some other T, uh, B cells may accept the D DNA or nucleic acid antigens, but T cells, TCRs accept only and only peptide antigen. It means if antigen is not peptide, T cell will not play the game. Is that right? Clear to everyone? Now, Think of about our star. Our star antigen came to this, no interaction, no interaction, no interaction. But this is happy, you know, star antigen fit over here. Now you people go to your seats. We have selected this B cell. This is the selected B cell. Is that right? Now, I think this B cell should also be asked to sit and we'll draw the diagram. <laughs> Thank you very much to everyone. Now, what are these? These are BC Rs. What are these? BCRs, right? Different BCRs are for different antigens. Actually, these are also called surface immunoglobulins. Later on, I will tell you the surface immunoglobulins which are present on the B cell, which are functioning as BCR. 
सरफेस अम्यूनो ग्लोब लेंथ आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द बी सेल्स विच आर एक्टिंग एज फंक्शनली एज बी सी आर बी सेल रिसेप्टर फॉर द एंटीजन दीज आर सरफेस अम्यूनो ग्लोब लेंथ और सरफेस एंटीबॉडीज क्लासिकली दे बिलोंग टू आई जी एम क्लास और आई जी डी क्लास आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस लेटर इन लेक्चर राइट देर फाइव मेन क्लासेज ऑफ एंटीबॉडीज राइट देर आई जी अम्यूनोग्लोबलिन एम अम्यूनोग्लोबलिन डी देन देर इज अम्यूनोग्लोबलिन ई जी एंड ए ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द बी सेल इधर देर आर अम्यूनोग्लोबलिन एम और देर इज अम्यूनोग्लोबलिन डी राइट सो वी कैन से that surfaces of the b lymphocytes are decorated by the surface immunoglobulins which are belonging to the class of igm or igd and these molecules are acting as b cell receptors for the antigen is that right no problem into this now once the antigen come let's suppose star act on this but others are not having any antigen so this cell selected you know very very happy and others are just sleepy is that right now this b cell has been selected because if antigen can fit into this b cell it means within the nucleus of this b cell there is already program to make anti star antibody is that right now what will happen on this particular b cell which has been selected right okay let me make this b cell in a bigger way this was igm which could surface which could react with star antigen they will stimulate again as there was tcr here what is here bcr here is cd4 there is no need of other molecule here was class 2 there is no processing here is that right but there should be some signaling mechanism for the nucleus there should be isn't it from the cell surface to the nucleus 